Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic of motion of bodies in contact from the chapter Laws of Motion. Now suppose this is a horizontal smooth surface and this is a block of mass M1 and this block is in contact with another block of mass M2. Okay. Suppose the force that is acting on this block is capital F. So F is the capital F is the external force acting on block body or block of mass M1. Okay. Now if I draw the two blocks separately, this block of mass M1 acted upon by a force F. So now M1 is in contact with M2. Okay. So since M1 is in contact with M2, this M1 will exert a force small f on M2 and M2 as a reaction to this force, it will also exert an equal and opposite force on M1 that is also given by F. Okay. So this M1, this M1, this block of mass M1, it is acted upon by this external force F and contact force F exerted by M2 on M1. This is that force F. Okay. So this F, this is the contact force. Okay. Now this M2, block of mass M2, it is acted upon by this force F. Okay. Now assuming that the two blocks are moving together with a common acceleration A. So acceleration of this block is A, acceleration of block of mass M2 is also a. Okay. So in that case, see M2 block of mass M2 is acted upon by force F. A is the acceleration, M2 is the mass. So the relation connecting them from Newton's second law, we have F is equal to M2 into A. Okay. Now for this block, see this block is moving in this direction. So capital F force, external force is acting towards right. Small f, the contact force is acting towards left. Okay. But the net force on this block is in the right hand direction. Why? Because the block is getting displaced in this direction with acceleration A. So that means this force has a greater magnitude as compared to this force. So the net force on this block of mass M1, net force on M1, it is F minus F is equal to M1 into A. Okay. Now if I substitute this value of F over here, it's F minus m2 a is equal to m1 a or f is equal to this goes to the other side it is m1 plus m2 into a or a is equal to f divided by m1 plus m2 so this is the acceleration of the acceleration of each blocks okay now if i substitute the value of a over here i get the contact force contact force F as F is equal to M2 into A, A is F divided by M1 plus M2. So that gives F is equal to M2 F divided by M1 plus M2. Okay. So this is the expression for the contact force for two blocks in contact. In a similar way, you can proceed and apply the same concept for three blocks in contact okay so this is the concept of motion of bodies in contact and the expression for contact force so next let us see the motion of connected bodies so we have two blocks of mass m1 and m2 placed on a horizontal smooth surface and it is connected by a string this is a string okay and this block m2 is acted upon by external force f okay so this f capital f force is the external force 
it is the external force external force okay so now m2 see this string is connected between m1 and m2 so this string will pull m2 in this direction the force exerted by the string it is called tension so t is the force okay now the same string is connected to mass m1 so this string will pull mass m1 with the same force t in the opposite direction okay so now this t is the tension and it is the contact force in this case okay so t is the tension it is the force exerted by force exerted by string on bodies connected to it connected to it okay acha now suppose the blocks are acted upon by such a force so that the string is remains tight the string remains tight and the two blocks move with same acceleration the two blocks moves with same acceleration okay now if we see this block this block is acted upon by force f in this direction t in this direction but the block is moving in this direction towards right in the direction of this force f so that means the magnitude of this force is greater than this force so the net force on this block see it is acted upon by two forces this force and this force in opposite direction so net force on m2 net force on m2 it will be f minus t is equal to m2 into a okay and similarly force on m1 it will be this now this m1 is acted upon by force t tension so t force equal to mass into acceleration so t is equal to m1 into a okay now if you substitute this t over here we get f minus m1 a is equal to m2 a if you take this over the other side the acceleration will be f divided by m1 plus m2 so this is the acceleration of each block okay now if you substitute the value of acceleration over here you get tension as a over here m1 into a so m1 into f divided by m1 plus m2 okay so this these are the two concepts first one was portion of bodies in contact second is portion of connected bodies i hope this concept is clear to you thank you for watching this video